All right, and we're back for part two because as soon as I went to uh, pick up the camera, it cut off. So here we have a Stuart V10. This is actually the very first Stuart that we have in our collection here at Steam Engines USA in High Point, North Carolina. Nice looking little engine though. And uh, let's see, it is tight. So everything turns over. And oh, it's freeing up as I turn it over too. How about that? It also just was shipped, and the temperature outside is about. 30 degrees, 31 degrees. So, the more I sit here and spin it, the looser it is getting. So, I'm going to see if we can get a little WD 40 on some of these points, and then we'll go and get a little oil. Looks like it's just not been, it may not even ever been run much. You just never know with these things. And the people that build them, the things with steam engines like this, especially these Stewart's home built, um, things like that, is they are only as good as, <coughs> excuse me, only as good as the builder. And as you know, I'm not a builder. Maybe one day, in the future but uh, I'm just a collector but uh, that's one thing I do know that these engines are only as good as the person that put them together so we got a little little WD-40 action going on there and a little piston so I'm gonna go top down to the bottom a little bit in there too. And yeah, that loosened things up a little bit. So we got a little WD 40 on there. I'm going to come back with some steam engine oil. Uh, we also sell that here at Steam Engines USA. I used to put a lot of this on uh, eBay, but they charge you about 20%. And we sell this bottle here. I uh, can't recall exactly. I have to look it up. I think $15, $14.95. Then by the time you have PayPal and shipping and all that stuff, it's, it's almost not worth the trouble. But we still sell it. So in the comment section, if you... Uh, would like a bottle of steam engine oil let me know and uh, you can go to our website steamenginesusa.com and scroll all the way to the bottom on the uh, page that's showing items for sale and you'll see the uh, steam engine oil for sale for sale and you can purchase some right there we'll ship it to you you can even purchase it online um, I don't check that on, uh, every day uh, check it maybe once a week so you may have bought something on there um, and unless we check it we don't know so you can also shoot me a, a text an email letting me know that you're buying that and we'll get it for you and get it out the door to you all right so let's hook this thing up to some air and just see how many pounds of pressure it takes to get this thing turning All right, so I didn't have a small enough fitting for this, so I temporarily cut a uh, piece of hose, a vacuum hose here, 
and then wrapped it with some uh, black electric tape just to make a seal so hopefully it'll make a good enough seal to get this little engine running and all right so let's see we're gonna cut it up Funny, as soon as I added a um, little bit of the oil in here, you can hear it speeding up. And like I said, I'm gonna come back and we'll get it. I'm gonna slow that down. I'm gonna have to take it off of this base here. Just, it's great to turn it, turn it around, but it is not good for uh, stability. Running really good, actually. Look at that. Very nice. And uh, this little engine, Stuart sells it online for about 644 euros. I'm not sure what the conversion rate is right now. But I got a very nice little Stuart. cut that off for a minute and uh, so looking good so far really nice nice little steam engine there everything seems to be in good condition so that was the first run so I'm gonna wipe it down and then we're gonna put a little oil on it and then see what we can uh, what else we can get Everything's there. Nice engine. These are Stewart engines are a very popular engine, very popular steam engine. And um, I actually I'm looking for a beam. If you have either a full beam or half beam Stewart that's in, uh, I would say as condition as good as this, I would be interested in that. So comment in the section below if you've got one or. Email me at uh, steamenginesusa at yahoo.com or you can text or call us 336-516-5070. If I don't answer, just leave a message. If you don't leave a message, I will probably not call you back because we get lots of calls. So, um, so yeah, that's looking really nice. I'll, I just like the, the quality of these engines. They're just, I am a Jensen collector. I'm a huge Jensen fan. Um, but I also like these Stuarts. And so this is the first one in the collection. So I'm gonna come back in just a moment. We'll give it one more run. I'll be right back. All right, so now I'm gonna put a little bit of steam engine oil on this. It's just a little bit thicker oil. It stays on the parts. And I turned this over here on its side to uh, get some up under there. Put a little bit on this little slide, this little carrier. And so you get it right, right down in there. I'm not sure if you can see that. 
little bit in there and we'll stand this up on its end Got a little bit that's spilled out wipe that off and down in here a little oiler cup put a little down in there and down here on the shaft on both sides let's see if I can spin that up though spin it up or down to drop the fall right there that was perfect and we'll spin around to this side a little bit right here on the shaft parts the oiler cup you can see that This little piece there, and that should be, yeah, that's spinning pretty good now. So with the engines like this, this one seems to be machined pretty well. Um, Stewart actually makes these, and you can buy them in a cast form. You can buy them in a machine-ready form, or you can buy them in a complete form. And I'm not sure, this one looks like one that may have been either cast or machined. I've not seen one that they have built. Um, but this one looks to be machined pretty well, all the parts. So we're going to add a little bit of air again and get this running. As it runs, we got the same amount of air going to it, and it should should start spinning a little freer the longer I run it. And this is the exhaust port. I don't know if I got a little. You can see. in front of the exhaust so you can see the exhaust moving right there nice little engine and it is starting to turn faster and I've not turned the air pressure up at all so I'm gonna actually slow it down a little bit give it a little even less air Very smooth engine. Just a great running little engine there. So, we'll bring this to a, a stop and slow it down.
pronounce it. <laughs> so, nice little stored engine here. So, very pleased with this engine. Um, in the comment section, if you like it, you hate it, tell me what you think about this Stuart engine that we have here. And from High Point, North Carolina, Steam Engines USA. Hope you have a great day, and thanks for watching.